Hello folks, this is Lorraine and Lewis from the beautiful island of Kauai. Today we're going to show you a triple generator Spooky XM system and I'm going to show you how to connect a channel. This is a channel here. That's the second channel. That's the third channel right there. Okay. And we're going to introduce uh, some, some new products and some new concepts as well as uh, the, the latest laptop that we're using, still from Dell. Only thing is it has a touch screen and it's uh, about the same price as the ones that we were shipping up until now. So this is the, uh, this is the new Dell. It's an 11 inch, just like all the other ones very very similar to what we've been shipping up until now just that it has a touch screen same price okay close this here we have three generators we have channel 3, channel 4 and channel 5 you'll be able to tell from labeling that we put onto the generators three, four, and five. As you can see, four and five have already been connected and we've left channel three disconnected to show you how it's done, okay? Moving over here to the power section. This is the little brick power supply for the Delft, same as always. Plugged into a surge suppressing power strip. And these are the power supplies for the generator. So this is the kind of power strip, typically, that you're going to want to try to get, okay? For a four generator system, you're going to need one a little bit longer or a dual, all right? This is plugged into the wall, right down there, okay? And now we're going to proceed to, uh, to go ahead and connect, interconnect the channel three, all right? So over here, you're going to have a power supply. This power supply uh, is much better than the power supply that comes with the Spooky 2 generator. We have found after quite a bit of testing that even though the power supplies from Spooky say they're 5 volts and 2 amps, they're really not 2 amps. Um, they're more like 1.5 to 1.6 amps. Unfortunately, that is the truth. And also when you're using an XM generator or even a GX with the Y adapter, you're requiring more power out of the system. And unfortunately, the uh, stock power supply that comes with the XM just doesn't cut it. And this is why we're shipping our systems with a much more able power supply. It's a little bit bigger, but it's, uh, it's going to be necessary for you to be rifing 24-7, 365, okay? The other product that I'd like to show you is one of, one of our latest ones. This is a little UPS, an uninterruptible power supply. We designed and, and we manufacture these. Uh, we do the 3D, we have the 3D printing done, the printed circuit boards, we, we buy the lithium ion batteries, we test these to make sure that they're fully compatible with the XM generator. This, this device has a lifetime warranty from us. If it should ever fail, we will repair it or replace it. I want to talk about brownouts and blackouts. Right, so the purpose of the UPS is to keep the generator running when there's a brownout or, or surge spikes, severe surge spikes on the power line, as well as a complete blackout, okay? So power surges and brownouts are what is probably gonna be more common. And that's when the power voltage dips or behaves erratically for even just a few seconds. That's enough to cause havoc on the XM generators, even the GX, and most electronic equipment, okay? So this is why we came up with our UPS. Uh, some of you 
may have another option, which is to buy a commercial UPS, a commercial uninterruptible power supply, say from Costco or Home Depot or Amazon. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll answer questions like that if you inquire. All right, so this is the UPS. This is the XM generator. When it gets shipped from us to you, it's going to have a label uh, telling you specifically which channel it is, like 3 or 4 or 5. Okay? The other thing you'll notice is that we cover up the two outputs of the generator that you're never going to use to make it simpler to, uh, to connect. And we test these before we ship them to you to make sure that they're working. It's a great product, but once in a while, you know, one of these fail. In fact, recently in a shipment of 10 of, ten of these that we got, one wasn't working properly. So we make sure that the units that you get are working properly. This is the Y adapter or the Y splitter. You might hear it referenced either way. Basically what it does is it combines output one and output two into one output, turning this into essentially two generators. And what we do with output two is either apply 11th harmonics to the remote or schoon effect. More on that later. So this is a short little BNC cable. By the way, BNC means British Navy Connector. The British invented this type of connector uh, many, many years ago. It's very, very popular. It's quite simple to use. This is called the female because it's got the little hole in the middle, and this is the male because it has the little pin. So these connect together. You'll see that there's a little, a little tab there on both sides, and there's little grooves there. And this mates up like this. And then you turn Push hard the little turn. collar. Yeah, you have to be aggressive, okay? To be aggressive connecting it. And then you turn that little collar, and that locks it. It won't come apart. Okay? So you're matching the, the little things on the side. Do it one more time. You're matching what, what and what? The little holes on the side. Hold on, pull it out. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Same story with the remote. It's got a BNC connector, a female, and this is our newest remote. You'll know because it has VIA DNA engraved on one of the sides. And this remote is capable of taking not only the standard 5 millimeter glass vial, but also a new vial that we're going to be shipping later this year 2020 which is completely made out of plastic polycarbonate and comes with its own cap already attached you would lower the swab with the blood and this filled with uh, with green alcohol and then flip the little lid over and, and and shut it tight this is what it would look like with blood in it and either one of these fits into the remote. Okay, so now we're going to proceed to connect it all. We're going to start over here by plugging in the power supply. To the generator. We're going to plug in the power supply to the, generator. To the power strip, madam. Okay? But it's, it's for the generator. Okay, got it. So this is going to go plugged into the UPS, not into the generator. right here. And the UPS then plugs into the generator right there. Okay. So here we have the three power supplies going to the three UPSs, all identical, okay? going into the generators. The USB cable of channel 3 we're going to connect in just a little bit here. Okay, that'll be the one of the last things that we're going to do. 
So here I'm going to show you. We're going to connect the Y, the y adapter, Y splitter. We're going to put the little indents here, vertical. See this, this twirls. You can see this twirls. We're going to put them vertical because the little nubs here on the female are vertical. And we're going to slip this on tightly. Rotate the lock collar. And that's ready. Again, this has the function of combining output one and output two into one output. We're going to connect the short BNC cable, British Navy connector. It's only six inches long. And we're going to connect the other end of the cable to the remote. So you're pushing in and then turning to the right. Like I did all the other times. Okay. Okay, so we're going to turn on all three generators using the slide switch here in the back to the on position, and you'll hear a you'll hear a beep when it's up. It turns on. You'll hear a beep when it's up, and finally the last one. Okay, this is the power supply for the Dell laptop. It's the simple little brick. I, I, I'm pretty sure we went over this already, so let's just move on over here. I want you to stop the dog, David. All right, since this is a triple system, it's going to ship with a, a little USB hub. And the USB hub is going to be clearly marked you know, three, four, five, because this is a triple system, three, four, five. We need to keep that order, okay? So the cable from three, we're going to connect into the USB connector. You'll notice here the connector is a square with two chamfered edges on the top. The two chamfered edges go up. They go up. Okay, good. So we have the power, we have the generators, the UPSs, and the remotes. All these are connected into the hub, which is now going to go to the laptop. We're going to connect the power supply for the laptop. We want to have this in all the time. And now we're going to connect the hub. The generators are on. This is important. And the laptop uh, is already powered up. It wouldn't matter if the laptop were powered up or not. But what is important is that the generators be powered up and connected to the hub, or in the case in which you have only one generator, the USB cable of that generator, okay, would be the same as holding this. The hub just expands the number of ports, all right? So with the generators on, we're going to plug into the left side of the Dell laptop. There's a USB 3.0 port, that's the, uh, that's the fast port on the Dell laptop. All the Dell laptops that we ship are all the same in this sense. You plug it in firmly. Okay. And now we're going to open up the lid. This laptop's been sleeping. And this is what you're going to see on the latest laptops that we've shipped. That's where the button is. Yeah, this is the power button. In case it was off, this is how you would power it up by pressing here. So this is the welcome screen. In order to get to the login screen, you can press the space bar or you can press the enter key. And the pin for all of these machines is exactly the same, 7433, which is IRFE on a telephone pad. 
7433 and it automatically gets there. All right, so thank you very much. And that has been our little video for today. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, just please call either Lorraine or myself. Or you can visit our website at www.accessing-health.com. God bless you. Bye-bye.